Hi, in this video, we are going to see how do you manage buyers or create buyers in Oracle Fusion Procurement. So buyers are the ones who are able to do the procurement activities uh, in procurement. So we will go to the relevant maintenance for that by going to others and clicking set up and maintenance and then let's go to the procurement functional area and then let's go to procurement foundations and then let's search for manage buyers oh, I mean procurement foundations and manage procurement agents so this is where you will see the listing of the buyers. I'm going to create a new buyer for now. And as soon as this window appears, you can select your business unit. So we will create uh, the LF01 business unit, which is the one we created. And then let's create a buyer. So we'll select this one and then I'm going to say the default business unit is this one and I'm going to allow him to, so this allow function, this allow checkbox shows what are the business functions that procurement agent would do. So I'm allowing him to do manage requisitions, I'm allowing him to create purchase orders, I'm allowing him to create purchase agreements, negotiations, he can participate in sourcing program he can create um, suppliers he can create many supplier qualifications and then manage ASLs and he can do spend analysis too the, this column what this column suggests what access does he have to see or access the documents created by other buyers or other agents so if, I, if you put none what this means is this this buyer can only see requisitions created by him. If you give view, he can view the other agents' requisitions. If you give full access, he can also modify the requisitions for other access. So I'm going to give him none uh, for requisitions for PO since this is a central buyer. I'm going to give him full access on the purchase orders. I'm going to give full access on the purchase agreements, negotiations, I'm going to keep it null, sourcing programs, I'm going to keep it full access. And then supplier qualifications, yeah, if he wants to use a central buyer, he should be able to see the supplier qualification activities, so I'm going to give him full access. So this is the setup you would do to create a buyer in procurement cloud. Thank you.